Welcome to the Book of Mormon painting tutorial. I wanted to make this to make it easy. Here is the supply list. Um, put it in the comments if you have any questions. But most of it was really cheap and I was able to get most of it from Walmart for under $20. Here I'm just taking the cover of the Book of Mormon off and using rubbing alcohol and uh, easy grit sandpaper to rub it down. Then there's the tape paint. Start by just cutting off the plastic. It took me a second to get this all off. And then once you're done with that, you're going to want to rub the protective coating of the wax resin that they have off with rubbing alcohol. And once you're done with that, use an 80 grit and then a 220 grit sandpaper just to roughen it up so that the paint doesn't peel off super easy. This will help it to last longer and to go on more evenly. Then I just took gesso, you can get that at Michaels or Walmart, and I covered the entire surface of the outside leather. I did two coats of this, and um, I'm just showing you one coat here, but it took me about two coats to get it completely covered, and I just made sure I didn't get it off any of the pages or the inside of the cover. Of the cover. Next, I just covered it with a uh, pink that I picked up from Walmart, I think it was 50 cents for a tube. Um, I used a really soft, fine brush so that that would leave any streaks, and it would go on evenly and smooth. I just used the paintbrushes that I had on hand, but honestly, any paintbrushes that you have would work for this, except for foam. Then here, I'm just doing the design. I had some inspiration. Um, a couple of pictures were sent to me of the design that this individual wanted. But mostly I just freehanded it. I tried to pick things I thought would look well that would create a lot of visual interest. Again, this is just with a cold paint from Walmart. Nothing super fancy. Honestly, if I were to do it again, I would use the same exact paint. You could get a fancier paint, but it wouldn't really make a difference. One thing I learned about this process was the importance of letting each layer dry. Um, because it's a non porous surface that you're painting on, it does take a little bit longer for each layer to dry when you're painting on the canvas. Uh, but yeah, pretty quickly, um, I think it turned out pretty good. Here I'm just going in with a small detail brush and painting with pink again. Just cheap paint for my mother. It just seemed to work best and to go on. Really okay. Some areas I just have to retweet the coats, but you don't get that with any coat paint, so I'm not to worry about it. I added a little bit of matte medium um, to some of the paints to make them dry a little bit smoother. I just got that off Amazon, I think it was $7. Um, it's just the Blick brand and it works great for me. And I'm just going to pull the polka dots with that same detail brush. It's kind of white. And a couple of loose lines that I thought would help add um, some visual interest. After this, and I didn't include this in the video, but I did some drawing out with a cheap paint pen that I also found at Walmart. This um, paint pen was great. I think it was like $2.50. Um, it's a black. I cold and silver, and I just use the black one here as you'll see later on. Again, I'm using that same detail brush, just a little bit lighter touch to create a little blue polka dots and to get some visual contrast. I wasn't actually fine on adding the blue, but I really liked it. Here I turn back in. I need some spaces there that I can do. And then, this is after I had done all the drawings on it, and I sprayed it with a quick seal from Walmart. Um, it's a great the Mod Podge seal, it's a great one that I used a lot. And you'll see how nicely the black kind of turned out. It was really fun to add all the designs, and I just freehanded most of it. I didn't have a specific thing in mind. Thanks for watching!